Okay, sorry. I have this big global triple door cake freezer. Hi. It's Friday night, it's like seven o'clock. Um, it was displaying PB1. And PB1 is a control probe failure. So it's not recognizing it. So if we look at this, there's two probes. You can see 11 is the cabinet, so that's PB1. And then 12 is the evaporator, that's PB2. So this is the ambient wire running up. And then this is the suction line. And the suction line one, I, t I called tech support and uh, they said it's reversible, meaning I can steal 12, put it in 11, ditch 11, and I'll get control back and it'll cool. I just have to relocate the probe. All right, so we got a harness to deal with to sort out back there. So there's multiple orange wires, uh, but then there's only one red wire, which is good. And even better, looks like these probes may be on jumpers that I can just change them at the jumpers. So here's your cabinet temp, right? And then the uh, other one should be strapped to the suction line. Is that this guy right here? Yeah, it's this blue guy right here. Yep, yep. So if we break that loose, make it the air temperature, chase this back. Let me cut all these wires to see. There's the, yeah, look. There's my orange wiring that's coming in to this, which sucks, that's not on the jumper. And then my blue wires run in up here. Let me cut these zip ties. Okay, so here's a better look. Here's your primary probe, it has two oranges. And then your secondary probe has a red and a yellow. So checking this out, you've got your orange and your yellow here, one from each, that's your neutrals. So there's your wires for your control sensor. There's your wires for your suction sensor. So I'm gonna flip these two. And then that should, when I fire it up, when I got here, this said PB. I'm just gonna flip that. I'm not gonna do anything more. I'm gonna turn it on. And if we get a temperature reading, then we're gonna set the probes where they need to be. All right. You got to flip. All right, so now, moment of truth. Jackpot, baby. All right, so I got to grab my zip ties and I got to move where the probes are. That's going to do it. All right, so I've broken loose that probe. There's plenty of slack here, so what I'm just going to do is work this this way. I'm gonna run it up through here. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna actually tighten that up. All right, so we're re-secured. We are all torqued up there. All right, let's close this guy up, put it back in a freeze. Okay. Listen to here if the compressors kick on. Yep. Good to go. Fifty two. Should get down there in a hurry. We're gonna wait for it to uh, I don't know if we wait for it to satisfy, but we'll wait for zero, see where she goes. All right, so that's, I'm out in the car. It's pouring rain, it's 7.30 Friday night. Uh, that global unit, this is a brand new location. It's three months old. So this is one of the locations that we own. I've discussed that we, uh, we actually own eight restaurants. I run a service company and I service everybody and then some. So this is one that we own. This is under warranty uh, and I am approved to do the warranty work. Uh, you know, Global's not going to pay overtime rates, but it's my store anyway. So I could have left it alone and been like, no, sorry, we're not coming till Monday. Uh, but again, this location sells a lot of cakes. That's a big freezer. 
it was pulled down to 12 degrees. I'm out. Um, so I appreciate uh, you coming along with the OT call. See you guys later.